Hey everybody, welcome back. Ingle vs. Vital is a landmark freedom of religion case. So if you ever said, ain't nobody praying for me, smash that like button. Alright, beginning with the facts as always. This case involves the state of New York, which passed a law that encouraged students to begin their school day by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and then a prayer. Notice that I said encourage and not require students to engage in this prayer. It was technically voluntary, the same way that reciting the Pledge of Allegiance is voluntary. Shout out West Virginia versus Barnett. The prayer itself was written by the state legislature and was non-denominational. The prayer went as follows. Almighty God, we acknowledge our dependence upon thee and we beg thy blessings upon us, our parents, our teachers, and our country. Amen. The issue before the court was, does reciting a non-denominational prayer in public schools violate the First Amendment's Establishment Clause? The state argued that the prayer was voluntary and didn't promote a specific religion, so it should be upheld. However, the Supreme Court disagreed. In a landmark ruling by a 6-1 majority, the Supreme Court held that states cannot hold prayers in public schools even if the prayers are voluntary and are not tied to a specific religion. Therefore, they struck down the New York policy promoting prayer in public schools. The court reasoned that state-sponsored prayer and religious activities in public schools violates the Establishment Clause. The Establishment Clause is the first part of the First Amendment, which says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. So let's spend some time here, because the state of New York's policy clearly didn't establish an official state religion. So why exactly is the prayer unconstitutional? Although the prayer didn't establish a religion, it promoted religion, which the court has determined also violates the Establishment Clause. The majority opinion by Justice Black explained that governments have no business establishing official prayers for the public to recite as part of any governmental service. Prayer by its very nature is religious, and the state writing a prayer for students to say violates the Establishment Clause. The majority also held that the state's promotion of prayer and religion is unconstitutional, even if it wasn't coercive, pointing out the dangers to freedom of worship that arise if governments can endorse a particular prayer or type of religious service. And they also included a warning to anyone who might think that this little non-denominational prayer isn't dangerous, quoting James Madison. It is proper to take alarm at the first experiment of our liberties. In other words, even though this prayer might not seem like a big deal, it's a first step down a path that could threaten religious freedom. So take it seriously. The dissenting opinion by Justice Stewart argued that the purpose of the Establishment Clause is to prevent the establishment of an official state religion, which New York here clearly didn't do. Rather, in his view, this policy merely allows students who wish to pray to do so. To Justice Stewart, this case is a nothing burger. The majority is overreacting. And as a quick side note, this case has often been cited as evidence of the court's inability to enforce its own rulings, as staff-led prayer continues to occur to this day, perhaps most commonly before school sporting events. Oh, and another side note. Remember, this case is talking about state-sponsored prayer. It is not talking about student-led prayer. A student or a group of students definitely have the right to pray while they're at public school. All right, well, that's it for this one. Until next time, this has been a La Money production. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, always hitting that like button for me. I appreciate it so much. Make sure to check out the Ultimate Review Packet. If you want great study guides, practice tests, and other exclusive test prep, check it out. And I will see you in the next video.